The B-58 Hustler was fast, powerful, and razor sleek. America's ace in the hole when pure speed was the mission, the world's first operational supersonic bomber, built to outrun danger at twice the speed of sound. But before the Hustler ever lit its afterburners, it needed a ride. And it got that ride from this, the mighty B-36 Peacemaker bomber, but not how you think. In 1956, the prototype XB-58 had to be moved from Convair's plant in Fort Worth, Texas to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base for testing. Being used for structural testing, the aircraft could not make the flight under its own power, and only one aircraft in the world was big enough to haul it, the massive Convair B-36 Peacemaker, the largest bomber ever built. To make the transport possible, engineers transformed the B-36. They removed the inboard propellers, cleared out the bomb bay doors, and reinforced the center wing structure to hold the XB-58 underneath like a giant mid-air cradle. The wings of the Hustler sat just inches from the Peacemaker's fuselage, so every modification had to be perfect. That day, America's past and future flew together, the last of the giant prop jet bombers carrying the first of the supersonic Missile Age fleet, a Peacemaker delivering a Hustler. With the Hustler's tail removed and the Peacemaker's landing gear deployed the whole time, the unusual and once-in-a-lifetime flight was completed without issue. The flight from Fort Worth to Wright Pat wasn't just a relocation, it was a handoff, from the old strategic era to the new high-speed frontier, and it remains one of the most remarkable sights in U.S. Air Force history. The world's biggest bomber delivering like a mother hen a ride to the world's fastest.